Welcome to the build instruction video for the IN14 Arduino Nixie clock. Um, I'm going to take you through the build of this uh, clock. It's not very complicated. It's actually one of the most simple clocks that, uh, that we, we do. But I'll take you through it really step by step, show you a few little tips and tricks as we go through. And uh, hopefully this will make it much easier for you to build it and have a successful, um, beautiful clock at the end of it. First of all, we're going to build the low voltage circuit. And what we're going to need for this is we're going to need a barrel jack, um, a 220 microfarad capacitor, the Arduino itself, of course. Um, this is not included in the kit, but I think pretty much everyone has one of these nowadays. Um, and some headers. We have a six pin header, uh, two eight pin headers, and a 10 pin header. We also have the PCB itself, it goes round like this, and the Arduino sits underneath it like this. Um, and uh, the reason we have another barrel jack is because having the power coming out of the side is a little bit uh, unpleasant sometimes, so it makes the case sort of difficult to, to make. So we've uh, added another barrel jack, and these are just basically in parallel. So we're feeding the Arduino from the back here and you see these power traces going around here and it puts it into the V in socket here and they basically you can need power from this one or from this one it doesn't make any difference so let's get started with the, the build itself then so the first thing to do is we're going to put the barrel jack um, on here and this actually gets mounted from the bottom so let's make sure Let me make sure that that is sitting flat. That seems to be good. And then when that's sitting flat, we can solder the other two uh, contacts here. There's a little trick when we put the headers in. Um, instead of just putting them on the board, we're actually put them in the Arduino itself uh, first of all so and this holds them in place and it means that after we've soldered it it will be easy to plug in and uh, and out if you don't do this you kind of have problems aligning the headers but this means we use the Arduino as a template for where the the headers uh, should go and in which way they're oriented and it makes it way way easier to um, to install the the headers and makes it so that the Arduino plugs in and out later without any straining or complaining or cursing or The final step is to put the capacitor, which is C3, not C1, it's this one, it's this one, not this one, to put the capacitor on the board. Now notice there is a white stripe here, and the white stripe, which is also the shorter lead, has to go as indicated on the board. We'll just trim up. Make sure that you put the trimmings out of the way. That is it. That's the low voltage circuit build. 